Hello again, I'd like to introduce to you this uh, excellent jazz study by Jesus Molina, um, which is in 9-8, and it's, it's got some very interesting features. First of all, it's in 9, so we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8, and 9, and 1. So the notes G to a B-flat, D, G, A, C, D, F, G, G. B flat, D, G, A, C, D, F, G, G. Um, now then, it's actually quite good to count this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this bit, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one. So these are all on the ands, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one. So um, we can actually look at this as as a group of six and a group of three. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And it's quite useful to actually loop these bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. There we can separate the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can also loop the three and one and two and three and one, two, three and one and two and three and one, two, three and one and two and three and one, two, three. Um, Practicing the six and the three separately will facilitate one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one. Now then, the right hand, um, Jesus plays his chords here. I'm going to play an octave high, but it's not there, but if I play it here, it's within range. So we can now, for, for the first bar, the beats are on one, three, five, seven, and nine. And on the second bar, the beats are on two, four, six, eight. So on the first bar, it's all odd numbers. On the second bar, it's all even numbers. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one. So notice these are together, together, with the G, in between the C and the D in between the F and the G. That's the first bar again. So it's together, together, with the G, in between the C and the D, in between the F and the G. Now the second bar in this little loop, um, again, the right hand is on odd, it's even numbers this time, even numbers this time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there it's um, cha, um, cha, and it's after the A. And then it's and seven and eight and nine and one. So it's actually between the D and the F. And then you're back on the beat again for one again. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and one. So that's the basic pattern that's established there. And of course, you, you might you might replace this pattern with one, two, four. That's a seven, nine, three, five type pattern there. Um, or now then, if we go to improvise around this, we can think of this as a six group again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's like a three, you're like one, two, three, one, two, three. Now the right hand can just improvise a bit in G blues. So we can go. And if you practice that, then we can get used to improvising over the six. Now the next bit is the hardest bit. And one, and two, and three, and one, 
two, three, and one, and two, and three, and one, two, three, and one, and two, and three, and one. Again, let me just improvise a bit here. Now, incidentally, this left hand pattern is very, very good because it gets you playing on the ands in between the main beats. And one, and two, and three, and one, two, three, and one, and two, and three, and one. Again, the right hand's just improvising here in G blues. One, two, three, and one, and two. Um, and then, of course, you can stitch the two together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, and two, and three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, and two, and three, and two, three, four, five, six, and two, and three, and two, three, four, six, and one, and two, and three, and and seven, and eight, or can you get nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and... Anyway, that's been very useful for my students. I hope you find it useful too.